Good afternoon, everybody. How are you doing? Let me just adjust that. Yes, that's better. How's your life? Welcome to the Online Memory Afternoon, episode 103. My, 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 we're into the hundreds. How's your life out there? Is it good? Is it sunny like it is in sunny Colchester, wherever you are? Hope so. Hope so. I've got a lovely show for you this afternoon. What have we got, John Hurst? Have a little look. We have the retro raffle, of course. We've got memories. Jeanette is here and she's going to be singing a song. Uh, featured artist, unfortunately, is unavailable. Um, and we're going to just do some other bits. We've got a video to show you. We have a seaside special of the week coming up. We have the man himself. He's been away for a, what, a month. He's back. Tom Hardy is actually back in person here this afternoon. Actually, let's just not talk about what the show is. Let's get the most important people on the screen. One, two, three. Let me see. Let me see. Are you there? Tom and Jeanette. Hi. Hello. 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 Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. How are How you? How are your lives? <laughs> Very good. Can I check? You. Are you in England? Uh Last time I looked, I was, yes. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Um, they, 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 I only just got back in. I'm not sure they were going to let me in. <laughs> yes. Yeah. When did you get back, Tom? Um, I got back, oh, God, I don't know, Yes, uh, day before yesterday, I think. Oh, yeah. right. Oh, really recently? Yeah, yeah. For anyone that doesn't know, Tom's been away for about a month and he's been abroad traveling around and it's nice to have him back on terra firma hi del nice to see you del on the chat um yeah, it's lovely to have you back tom Thank um, you. we've missed you haven't we jeanette yes we definitely missed you yeah you took definitely. a bit too long to say that jeanette <laughs> <laughs> there's a delay you know it's just one side of cultures to the other <laughs> yes no i really did miss you so we have to work extra hard extra we hard share your third of the show between us the show we I do very much. <laughs> well we muddled through literally <laughs> it's great did, fun did, did you have a lovely time while you was away Tom? yes a lovely time a very hot time yes um, yeah i think i think we had about four or five days of about 44 45 degrees wow. 40 i swap the next question i was going to ask did it get above 40 oh that? yeah fine yeah. Because they've, they've had uh, forest fires and that. Yeah, they? we came past a couple. Um, we were quite near a, a couple. Um, Scary. But, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, we just sort of saw the smoke in the distance. Um, mm. And, yeah, I mean, it, I think it's the sort of constant heat, really. I mean, being that that temperature. Um, I mean, but it's hot. It's It's unusually hot there. You know, it shouldn't be that yeah. hard at the moment. But. I must confess, for us getting 38 plus, it was, it's not what I'm used to. I just, it's not good. No. Not good. I don't feel kind of chilled by it. Um, it's ridiculously hard to sleep. I need like a load of either a big fan or loads of people on, on the ceiling blowing down on me constantly. <laughs> yeah, talking of which, I bought a fan. I went on Wowcha. The other day i bought a fan i tell you what somebody sighing was stronger than this fan <laughs> <laughs> it was so noisy it was a little tower fan i thought it's gonna oscillate it didn't move and just someone going oh, that would have been better oh. i took it to the charity shop <laughs> somebody's gonna get a bad bargain um i feel a little bit cheated with the heat then because when it was really hot in in the uk i was in menorca and i think it only got up to like 33 which is lovely with a pool and everything but 40 what's going on uh, next yeah. time next time eh? <laughs> well, hello so kgb sorry tom carry on yeah no no i mean we we sort of went through and then got down to the coast and the the temperatures sort of came down to sort of something that a bit more normal 
and um and the, it was it was really nice to have a bit of wind and and you know just a bit of sea and then we went a bit further along the coast to tarifa which is the point where the mediterranean meets the atlantic mm. and there's always a wind there oh yeah. was there crashing waves did you surf well they do they they do wind surfing and kite surfing there the whole time yeah because there's always i don't know it's just weird sort of condition and it's just it was lovely to have a bit of sort of coolness really yeah that's what i like i like it quite warm with a little bit of a breeze and yeah. then i can cope tarifa that's where you need to go tarifa. Tarifa. Oh, i should have to look at that on the, on the map yeah, i'll check that one out yeah it's um, the closest closest point to africa oh i say oh i say tom oh you do get around don't you yeah. Oh, you cheeky man! Is it down near Gibraltar, that kind of way? Yeah, oh, it's, oh, yeah it's sort of, there. it's sort of, um, yeah, Gibraltar's further east, uh, yeah. further north, is it? North? Further north, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's, um, yeah, very close to Gibraltar. Right. There we go, people. That's your travel news for the week. <laughs> we'll be back with another instalment next week. Yeah. <laughs> I, hi to Kim, Keith, and Dell. And shall we do? I'm moving you on because I'm very rude. The retro <laughs> raffle. If I press the button, <laughs> it's the retro raffle. And it's coming to your screen. It's the retro raffle. Never has been seen. I can't yeah. wait to hear what the prizes are. I get so excited with this part of the show. Oh no, you know, you, you just want to stop being excited, is the word. <laughs> We're about to go on air, and I, I'm frantically thinking, you know, what am I going to get? I forgot to do the prizes. So, no. I, yeah, I made a quick call. I made a quick call to Dirty Barry. What he, all he had left was these gypsy clothes pegs. <laughs> but I thought they'd kind of look rubbish and beautiful at the same time. Yeah. And I like it. I don't know if that's metal there that's keeping them together or if it's leather. But I thought, actually, they'd yeah. last at least 100 years. But I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. They're the prize in your imagination. Um, so, yeah, gypsy pegs. Sorry, Jeanette, to let you down. <laughs> Because after you never let me down. I was kind of hoping that you would just grab random things from your room and say, "This is a prize." There's a lot of random rubbish around here. Well, there's um, always lots of things behind you. It's very colourful and and a bit dinner today. dinner service. Oh. Come on, bring it in. Bring in the prizes. No, they're not listening. <laughs> there's no one in the house. That's why. Yeah, there's always lots of things, but I'm not going to give those lovely things away. Um, yeah, I'm looking around, what I've got yeah, nothing I want to part with. Yeah, you got some pins off your notice board. Oh, I've got little flower pins. They're really nice. Oops, probably. They were Neves when she lived at home. Can you see? I've dropped the um, oh, yeah. oh, little yeah. drawing pins, but with flowers and leaves. Yeah. Proper little girly semi -gorgeous, stuff. Semi-gorgeous, semi-gorgeous. I've got the Beatles. <laughs> you got the B.A. Uh, oh, I like that. What have I got nearby? Lego Beatles. Uh... What have I got nearby that I could do? Uh, oh, you could you could watch the Waltons. <laughs> You've da, all da, got lots da, of da, da, I don't know why I got it on eBay. You could have special pen with lots of different colour ink on the waves. Oh, it's very choppy out there today. Oh, children, you could have a Stanley measuring tape. Yeah. I've got a mask. You could have an orange bus. Oh, look gorgeous. I might do the show in this. Jeez, quite nice, isn't it? You can have some Japanese ball. snacks. Oh, you could all have the a... way from Japan. <laughs> you could have the Buddha. You could have the Buddha. <laughs> Actually, that's, that's like me on holiday with the legs crossed. <laughs> 
Or I wind him up. Let's see if he works. Oh, I'm, I'm smashing the Waltons up. Sorry, Waltons. Let's see if he works. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, guy. I like that. That's for Halloween, though, surely, right? <laughs> right anyway, enough of that. Retro raffle and hi to also shut up, little spooky man. Oh, Jeanette. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. the stuff I found. So thank you, Ian, okay. and nice to see you. Elmi, she says hi. It's Mariana, Maria, Mariana, Mariana, Elmi's daughter. She's listening to the message. Um, as she is just had a cataract done, but didn't want to miss oh. today. Bless you, Elmi. Um, sending love to you for a quick um, recovery from that. And that could be a nuisance, um, but I'm glad. Oh, I'm fa I'm hopeful it's going to improve your life. So Very Ian Thurgood is loving your shirt. Yes, I saw that. I know it's Tom's because, you know, that is a nice shirt, actually. It, especially it's made. Tom's in the shade. Cute. Few years ago, yeah, especially my Tom. Tom's had a yeah, he's got a nice shirt, and I'll give him that. Um, <laughs> so you back from holiday two days. Have you done your washing yet, Tom? Is that a clean shirt? Uh, yes, oh, of course. don't answer. <laughs> Bit of a pause there. Okay, here's the question You are allowed to pick one or two pieces of clothing from your past that you've loved, but no, but no longer have you are allowed to pick one or two pieces of clothing from your past that you have loved but no longer have what one or two items would you pick that's the one the retro raffle move those gypsy pegs for a moment i'll ask you but i'll tell you first mine would be this jumper come cardigan <laughs> if i had when i was younger there's a photo I found recently, and everybody was jealous of the stripes of that. It was very soft, I remember. It was a very soft cardi. Um, I wish I still had that. I doubt I could get into it. <laughs> it would come to the top. It would come just below my nipples, and my big belly would be pushing out across the waves. But it would still be nice to have it. Could you have an extension? I like your pose. Sorry, that's just the I best know. pose. <laughs> Can we do that? That is so nice. And your hair, you went for a, a kind of side parting there. I, I like don't know that. what I was doing. So nice. look at the state of it. It's all over the game. That's lovely. You look great. But you were proper posing, man, weren't you? Over the shoulder thing. I think that was one of those ones like a school type one. They had a person who does the school photos and they took that. Looking at that background. Anyway, get rid of that. What was you going to say, Tom? I was going to say you could extend it maybe. What your hair or <laughs> your jumper, <laughs> your cardi, yeah. your cardi? You could, you could have a knitting add-on, couldn't you? Yeah, you could just like carry it on down. Absolutely. I mean, you could probably buy a blanket and just and just stick it on with some glue or something, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> or tack it, wrap it round. Yeah. Yeah. Or get some pins that Jeanette's got. Yeah. Even of you two. You too, being Tom and Jeanette. Um, do you remember any articles of clothing that you had that you wish you still had? Perhaps from when I don't you were about a kid. you, Tom. I've I've still pretty much got all of my clothes. I don't move house very often, do I? I wear things that are older than Neve. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, do, I sort of yeah. I have, <laughs> trouble with me is I don't really sort of like have loads of clothes, and I tend to wear the things that i really like a, a lot and they wear out do you mm. go and replace that one thing with something extremely similar um my trainers i usually buy two of the same pair every time i buy trainers or in the same color oh yeah everything's the same wow so <laughs> how long do they last tom um about a year each about a year oh. each what yeah, is that just like... the left one and then you go to the the other <laughs> yeah, left one it is <laughs> so yeah i tend they they usually last a year the pair yeah um, so that's not very long for a pair of shoes no but i wear them all the time i don't have i mean i do have actually i've got some. bed bath shower he's got them <laughs> <laughs> trainers running pole vaulting <laughs> tom does it all he loves running and pole vaulting yeah 
<laughs> Especially the pole oh. vaulting. <laughs> <laughs> So you don't Actually, I did have a pair of um oh white baseball boots that I threw away last month because they'd finally worn through in so many places. And now I really, really wish I had a pair of white baseball boots because I want to wear them on stage on Sunday and I haven't got any now. So... Tomorrow you're mm -hmm. down, get a pair of white converse or I was going to go and see Mariana, Elmi's daughter, uh, oh, over yeah. in Brightlingsea tomorrow. It's the oh. music festival, and I'm playing there on Sunday, but I thought I would go uh, tomorrow anyway with a bunch of people. Oh, I didn't know it was the music festival uh, tomorrow. Yeah, so well, I might two, into town first. You two are rubbish. I mean, you're not a clothes horse like me. Um, <laughs> uh, there are bits of clothing that I had when I was a kid that I, I'd like again, but, um, yeah, I mean, I, I tried When to, you were I, a kid. I'd, then I was a kid. Yeah. I had one T-shirt that was um, it had it was a make belief one. That it was really rubbish, and I really don't want it. And it had a picture of a pencil in a pocket, and it was a T-shirt, but it looked like a shirt. Uh, <laughs> but it had little added things on it. It was so rubbish. But my mum bought it in Ridley Road, and I had to wear it. That's the market in Dorset. <laughs> I really don't want that again. Um, well, I was. I've got two brothers and my sister was so little so i tended to have hand-me-downs all the time when i was little my brothers hand-me-downs and they, they might have just got past me down to alan but then nothing survived his uh, tough life <laughs> knees out of everything but yeah we'll so i didn't the, have anything that i, I didn't minute. want them then <laughs> the violin plays on um, yeah a little tiny one <laughs> tim um, tim kim has got a brilliant one Hot pants and Afghan coat would not even Ooh. fit me now. Whoa, send pictures of you that. in hot yeah. pants and Afghan coat. Sound <laughs> like a revolutionary person. I like it. <laughs> KGB says, World War II, brown leather flying jacket, burgundy suede, winkle Oh, burgundy suede and burgundy suede, winkle pickers. Fetching. <laughs> Trying <laughs> to get the, the yeah, That's yeah. Quite I can't quite see. Go to get. Did you have jeans or? or no, pants? just just the jacket and winkle. Just the jacket and the shoes. Yeah, that's no, all. Had, <laughs> what if we mixed it up and he had sort of like a lion jacket, hot pants, like really short, so you see a little bit of bum cheek, and and swinkle pickers. That'd be a look. Send us photos. Try that on later, Keith. Send us photos. <laughs> Did you actually um, kill and put on the end winkles on the end of your pickers? Because <laughs> they were quite sharp, weren't they? Oh. It, was it like Conkers where you'd collect lots and you'd have them all in a row? You'd have your burgundy suede winkle pickers with lots of different winkles on the end. When I say winkles, <laughs> I don't mean boys' winkles. I mean, you, see, you, you wouldn't want boys' winkles or men's winkles on the end of your shoes. That would just look weird while you're walking down the road. Sure. I like and when the <laughs> Imagine that you've got no sure. no sure. I'm I'm it. men's winkles on the end of your shoes <laughs> as a fashion statement in 21st second century. I need some mind bleach. Why why would Keith be collecting men's winkles? I yeah. Don't know. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He was the phantom winkle killer of old London town, <laughs> wasn't he? <laughs> Been Poor found guy. out. He said it, he says it's normal barge clobber, but that's that was a, a ruse for the old Bill so that he could <laughs> collect the winkles and be on a barge. Nobody'd know he lived there. Don't well, tell the authorities, don't give him my address. I think he's on his barge at the moment up in Cambridgeshire, and he's got a friend staying with him who will have, if he's watching the show, this will be his first one. <laughs> Wait, what must he think? Uh, well, I hope it's not the first time he's visited what, Keith because he's worried. Yeah, exactly, Tom. <laughs> what must he think of Keith with his yeah? yeah. What are you wearing now? What are you making him wear? Yeah. <laughs> he's looking Keith up and down now. <laughs> Don't touch my winkle. <laughs> and he says it's a hobby. Don't stay the night. Don't stay the night is what all I can say. <laughs> he says <laughs> murder and mayhem, and he says it's a hobby. <laughs> And his friend's <laughs> over and he's like getting a funny look now. Mm -hmm. You do wonder, don't you? you oh, do I think Colin's wonder. in Holland, so nothing will phase him. Oh, well, it's all right. He can take it. He's got um, he's got his boots with KGB written on them, hasn't he? <laughs> I 
Oh, he's going two 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 two, 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 two in wellies. Oh. Well, his friend, his friend? Though, he's well confused. His friend don't know what's going no, on. No, there's a story behind that. He said that if I want to, I I, I uh, piloted his barge before, and he, he said it? that if I want to use the air horn, that you know, <laughs> if I want to use that, you can only use that if you're wearing tutu and wellies. <laughs> That's where Did that comes from. And I, no, I haven't taken wellies or a tutu to his boat. <laughs> Have you seen him do it? No. <laughs> I think it's just a, a, a ploy to see me in a tutu. Email us a photo of you doing it, Keith, and we'll put it on air. Yeah. Tutu and Willis, yeah. Oh, we're terrible, really. I hope he doesn't yeah. uh, dislike guy. us now. Poor guy. How embarrassing for him in front of his friend. Yeah. And his children, mm, maybe, <laughs> if they watch. And his children. You didn't say that. No, they're no, not I there. Think... But he oh. might say to them, oh, look, I get a big mention on this show. <laughs> All my winkle collection, yeah. And my winkle collection. <laughs> I, I tell you what, it's such a gorgeous day out there. With a slight wind, yeah. I reckon some people, most people, are going to be out enjoying it, actually. And we probably might not get any more memories. And nobody's going to actually win those gypsy clothes. Oh, what a shame. And all That's... our other little toys that we had. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all of those are available. Unfortunately, none of you can win them. <clears throat> Instead, we'll go for memory. I'll press the button. Memory of the week. Memory, memory, memory of the week. Shortest jingle, best jingle, really. The one I've done lately, the one I've done last night, it goes on for blooming ages. You'll get that in a minute. <laughs> um, what did it mean to you? Is the memory of the week is what did it mean to you when you were younger to go to the seaside? Um, I'll start, Miss, Miss, Miss. I'll start. Um, we used to go to the seaside once a year. We lived in Hackney in London, and mostly it was Jaywick Sands, and then a little bit of going to Butlins or oh, Pontins Camp, oh, Pontins Camber Sand. And it meant it meant everything, it meant absolutely everything. It just when we were young, it was just such an exciting thing to look forward to spending a week at the seaside and sometimes all you would do is be on the beach all day long we 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 had a, a chalet on the front of jaywick one year and we were so happy because underneath the dining table we discovered a billiard table so you could pull the top off and you could play billiards <laughs> that just like secured our whole week's happiness that's how easily pleased we were tom you grew up in um on the on the beach, really, didn't you? You, you right. lived on the beach. Didn't you? I did live on the beach, really. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> until Tell us I, you. Until I was about six, I lived on the beach. Yes. What was it like? What did it mean to uh, you to be by the front? Um, well, I mean, it's a different thing. So yeah, until I was six, I lived sort of in Spain on the beach, and then when see, we moved, see. when we moved back here, I lived down at Mersey. So on the beach, on the beach uh, well, very near the beach, and that was sort of a bit different, um, but actually quite nice. I mean, we lived down at East East Mersey, so like in the in the winter, nobody was there at all. I mean, you know, in those days, mm. you didn't you didn't even have a whatever that park is called, um, you know, down Cudmore the Grove. end, Cudmore Grove. Oh, Cudmore Grove, love it there. Yeah, well, that wasn't you know it wasn't even a thing then and so yeah it was really desolate but really nice so you could walk right down to the point and um see nobody you know um mm. but i went back actually when we were there when i was in spain we went to where i used to live um and it's yeah it's just got really really big and messy now yeah it's messy bit, and is there's a lots of people or? yeah yeah they've just built loads of stuff i think recently so it's all yeah. quite funny yeah. you look like a salty sea dog with your new tan and your beard and your sort of like lovely hair you look like you know you could tell us stories of the sea well i could, I could yeah i could sing a sea shanty or two yeah or oh hello <laughs> that'd be nice um ian ian says sea dogs uh, Oh, sea dogs. Is that like hot dogs, but you had them on the water? <laughs> what sea dogs? It sounds really, I'm really stupid. Salty sea dogs. Salty sea dogs. 
don't know. We'll find out. Jeanette, how about you? Did you, in your poverty-stricken youth, <laughs> get to the seaside? She never saw once. the sea until she well, was literally 30. once. When I was little, once we went to the seaside. Oh, my mom, my dad was never around, and Mark, she was always working. And my mum, with four young, very young children, got a train when we lived in Bristol to Western Supermare and she didn't have a lot of money obviously so she'd made sandwiches and it was this big day out to the beach and um I just kind of remember we loved it it was just just buckets and spades and mm. and I think they were just I don't know tuna paste sandwiches full of sand obviously and um I don't know, I think we had to find a tap that you rinse your feet and we were drinking out of that. And it was just such a lovely day, just, you know, four of us little kids fighting probably, but just having a lovely time. And and I think I had a one of those seersucker all-in-one swimsuits that I just remember kind of walking up from the sea, having gone in a bit too far and, and spitting seaweed. And, and, and this swimming costume, the un the underside of it was hanging down to my knees and it was just really oh. droopy but oh, it didn't dear. matter we all just had such a good time and the food was horrible but it was a sunny day on a beach the only time really that i remember it was great oh well and i remember my mum did knit us a swimming costume <laughs> woolen ones i don't know if we wore them at the seaside or not but they hung down oh yeah. my god they hung heavy so i can empathize with you Jeanette. <laughs> Um, hi to Ben. Hope you're well, Ben. Um, Ian says, Sea Dogs flared jeans. Ah, bought ah. them the same day I got Chicago free, according to my diary. Wow, he's just got a diary that he can call upon his whole life. He is How so cool. Is Ian that? Thurgood, cool guy. I like him. We've spent lots of time talking about various music things, and, and he, him and I are the founders of Little Scarlet Music Festival. And I we'll do a walkie and <laughs> we need a catch up so does he mean chicago free as in the band if you leave me now you take away the very heart of me i expect he does yeah he probably does i don't know their third album i need to check it out later i just i just remembered that down here by my side for some reason i have a photo album yes oh and that is me on the beach oh oh well, wow perfect. Is that Spain? Yeah. Wow. What one are you, Tom? The one next to the fish. Is that uh, uh, in front of the the maybe your mum in white? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I can't see the fish properly, but I bet it's massive, isn't it? Oh, it is. Look at that. Gosh. What kind of fish is that? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> are you leaning on a boat there, Tom? Yeah. That's, I think that's my granddad's boat. Oh, wow. Oh, I like that. What a life. What a <laughs> life indeed. Yeah. Keep those memories coming in. Thanks for sharing that, Tom. I'd love to see that if you could set a picture or scan it. Yeah. I've um, got loads. Actually, there's quite a few. Yeah. I've, I've always said we'd love to see pictures of Tom when he was young, but you never seem to have them. Oh, look, I've just found them. Oh, loads oh. now. Oh, look. This is really, that. like, really 60s, isn't it? Are you on your yeah. mum's lap? Yeah. Oh, Tom. We, we just used this at the May Fair. And my mum said, who's that you're sitting? Whose lap are you sitting on? And my brother, <laughs> got, and my brother went, well, it's you, isn't it? <laughs> she didn't recognise herself. No, she didn't recognise herself. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> Kim, Kim used to go to Wharton on the Nays a lot with her aunts and uncles, nan and granddad, spend the day on the beach making sandcastles, having lots of fun. We used to take a picnic picnic with us all. I think there's something about the seaside and those uh, days out that kind of are timeless. You know, apart from the war, people had the opportunity to go to the seaside like they do now. And sometimes even if you haven't got a lot of money, but if you can make it and just sit there, if you can get a bag of chips, salt and vinegar, oh, then that's even better. Talking of which, we'll be covering something similar in, in a little while. Keith mentions he lived in Malta until he was six, so in a similar way to Tom. Beaches every weekend, then lots of Dorset beaches and coves because we lived 40 minutes drive from the front. Crabbing, rock pools and sandy cucumber sandwiches. <laughs> yes, sand in sandwiches. Mm. <laughs> I, I, just, it just, I just find it wistful and it just it takes me back to 
do you know it's really nice when you you need to escape sometimes when life's a bit rubbish or whatever and you could just go back to those memories and they remain for you they're kind of like they're not necessarily a constant but if you can take yourself to them it's just a wonderful sensation you know smelling that vinegar on the chips in the air if you mm. smell it if you smell it and you're walking past somebody who's got some you're instantly hungry aren't you yes <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, just lovely. Anyway, here's something for you. We've got a little something for you. Little something for you. We've got Jeanette's going to sing a song for us Ooh, today. Oh, now, is it? <clears throat> yeah, it is. It is. You're on. You're on, Mrs. I got a guitar. Um, you know I can't remember lyrics anywhere, so Have I should be putting front them on the you? screen. And that on, on the screen. So, uh, yeah, let's give this a go. I've, uh, sadly, AD's not with us today, who was planned, but uh, next time. Next so, time, he'll uh, be yeah. back. Well, we get out of your way, ladies and gentlemen. It is the one and only Jeanette Lines. Well, uh, something a bit different. Normally, I do kind of songs that uh, other people have written, but this was one that I wrote quite a while ago. But uh, it's one of my songs. It's called Biding My Time. I'm good at being busy, finding things to do, like pubs and gigs and parties, even a date or two. I have my friends and my family, my work, my bands and my girl. No time for a man in my life, my life's a social world. Standing in line, biding my time, waiting for you to see what you would, to see what you would, to see what you would, to see what you would do. I never wanted just any man, in fact I'm happier free. Don't need someone to control me. I'm happy and free to be me. This doesn't need to get formal. I want us to stay just like this. No church, no dress, no invitations. Still saying it with a kiss. Standing in line, biding my time. Waiting for you to see what you would see what you would see what you would see what you would do you're such good fun to be with crazy and mad about you we finally show our hearts reflective and fragile and true we say those words and we share our love this feeling so weird and so new I want to keep you forever But any future will do Standing in line Biding my time Waiting for you To see what you would To see what you would To see what you would To see what you would, what you would do I'm not like all of the other girls And you're better than all the rest We laugh, we play, we make music But staying in simply the best I know that look that you give me You're not sure just what you have found I'm too strong too soon, I'm too scary But too good to not be around Standing in line, biding my time, waiting for you to see what you would, 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 see what you would do. That was called Biding My Time by uh, me. Jeanette Lines. Yeah, Jeanette Lines. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice, Jeanette. And I like it that at the top, you look very respectable. You've got your nice glasses, your, your hairs, and then you go down the camera, you start throwing a little 
the shoulder thing. I didn't off. try that. Like, no. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Who's this lady? I like her a lot. It's because I was so relaxed that you let your shoulders down and and you just yeah, that's all right. That, that, was really, that was really that was really nice. I was just a bit worried that you were going to have like eight verses. Was, <laughs> was it too long? No, no, it wasn't. But I just oh. thought actually she she said she's going to sing a song. It was lovely, but she might have written fourteen verses. <laughs> <laughs> You never know. Ben, oh, no, it tells a story. <laughs> tells a story. Lots of applause from Keith. Ben says, wonderful oh. singing, Jeanette. Great singing and guitar Thank playing. You. Oh, Thank you. Thank you very much. God oh, bless him and Keith and Kim, who says, lovely song and singing, Jeanette. Thank you very much. Oh, That's nice. It's you not very often in... I do anything of my own. I don't do my own poems. I don't usually do my own songs. But it's, it's quite... Um, yeah, you, you make yourself quite vulnerable when you do something that you've created yourself, I think. And I think like all the guests that we have on here and they nearly all do their own songs. And it's so impressive that the fact that they have that kind of talent and, you know, my song's not up there with theirs, but yeah, you, you still down. feel quite vulnerable in, in, you know, bearing your soul, as it were. But yeah, nice. yeah, oh, bless you. Thank I mean, you I kind only know... <clears throat> I only know the, the jingle to Poem of the Week you did. How many songs have you written, do you think? Oh, probably only about, I don't know, six. I haven't written any for a while and I've just been working too much and this is one of my things to do when I stop working. Is Dog needs a wee. Songs. Dog needs a wee alert. Dog needs a wee. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many... Tom, do you write songs as well? Because you're one of my favourite guitar players and singers. Um, yeah, sometimes. I tend not to because I think there are a lot of songs that just do the same thing, you know. <laughs> so I tend to, you know, <laughs> there's lo loads of songs that just do the, you know, say the same things, aren't there? So I, I sort of, um, but I do write songs occasionally. Um, yeah, I try and make my songs slightly different. That they're not just like a love song or whatever, or a, a breakup song and things like that. And that the one that I just sang, that was all about kind of um, sort of seeing somebody, but thinking, oh, you know, I'm just going to hold back. I'm not going to let myself go with this. This is going to, you know, just stand back. Don't throw yourself in, which is uh, so me. <laughs> not commitment phobe, <laughs> just cautious. And that's what that song is about, just biding my time. <laughs> But I yeah, I think I know what you mean. But I think I do you write folk songs the same as the kind of things that you play when you're on the show? Uh, no, no, what heavy metal. Like? I do heavy metal sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've written a heavy metal song before, yeah. I love when you do fresh metal though, Tom. That's yeah. my favorite. <laughs> what kind of songs are you dealing in, Tom? I don't know, I just sort of anything that I fancy, really. I don't particularly sort of um, make a, a plan. I remember but... you were in a band called Out of Nowhere that uh, mm. we used to share gigs when I was in a different band. Yeah. And uh, did you write the songs for that? Because they were blooming fantastic. That's um, a great band. Well, I wrote some bits of the the uh, the tune, you know, the, the guitar bits and stuff, yeah. The arrangements and stuff. Yeah, sort of. I don't just yeah, the the clever bits were mine. Yes, I was say that the bits <laughs> not, that really not like. Steve's. <laughs> yeah, I did think that. I did think that. Yes, yes. The joining when you're joining things together and making them sound really clever. That was me. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I had John Murphy to help with some of my songs. He was really good. Um, but yeah, I don't. You know, I I, I prefer taking old songs and doing something new to them i like I that that's nice that's that's what i sort of quite like doing that's your thing yeah more than writing songs but oh. I do, yeah i do write oh. songs. <laughs> well that was lovely jeanette thank you very much you. we should move on we've got a seaside special this week our of the week is fish and chips side of the week so side orders that go with fish and chips actually I've just got a jingle. Let's play that. <laughs> yeah. Fish and chip sides. They get me through my life. Ketchup and curry sauce. Gherkin or tartar sauce is fine. 
Fish your chip sides. Explore your soul seaside. Cooey. Fish your chip sides. Oh, of the week. Yes, fish and chip sides is. Fish and chip side of the week is our feature now. Imagine you were given fish and chips, you're at the seaside. We give you a fish and chips in paper, in newspaper, however you want it, and salt and vinegar in here, vinegar, vinegar are included. <laughs> <laughs> That's, right. That's right, Tom. You know what I am on this. I love you very much. Me, um, the 14th. <laughs> I went a bit bore, bore right then. Um, you can have With my reputation. <laughs> I was very, very drunk. Um, you can have cheesy peas. No, um, you can have ketchup, you can have curry sauce, Ooh. you can have uh, let's find them in the order that they are intended. Oh, I can't find mushy peas, mushy peas, gherkins, pickled onions. Have I got room on the screen? That's a lot of things. Uh, you now, there's not room for tartar sauce. So uh, we'll take some of them off. You can have, as your side, to go with um, <clears throat> fish and chips. Salt and vinegar is included. Ketchup, curry sauce, mushy peas, gherkins, pickled onions, or tartar sauce. What would you choose? Um, actually, Tom and Jeanette. Come in close. I just want to ask you something. Come in close. What do you think about the idea? Keep, you, keep it down. Do you think there's a possibility we could give them two choices? I I sort of think that yeah. the mushy peas should be included with the fish and chips. No. No. Yes. No, that's outrageous, Tom. I've, I've yes. got to, no, Tom, I've got to put my foot down. Mushy peas are just wrong, but I've put them there for people who like wrongness. <laughs> I'm a Jono on that. Should we? Be, no, no be. mushy peas can't be included as a natural choice, Tom. Take, I'll turn this as high, high as the committee. I will. Um, is it <laughs> legal? So you, haven't, you haven't got mayonnaise either. Oh, no mayonnaise. But well, that's included. Why am I doing that voice? I don't know. It's <laughs> <laughs> pea sauce. Oh, but Tom, listen. Is it legal? I don't want to see us on points of view. Can we can we give them two? And one of those two could be mushy peas if they are twisted. I think so. Okay, let's go. So you can have two. So you've we've checked it over. We've conferred, and you can have two of those. Um, I'm going to take mushy peas off off the screen because Tom's got way too ahead of himself <laughs> thinking they are key yeah. to the whole scenario. <laughs> The tartar um, sauce back up there. Let's get tartar yes. sauce involved. It's just overriding <laughs> Tom. <laughs> so, um, oh, thanks. Kim says, lovely song and singing. Jeanette, oh, thanks. Oh, thank you. Um, did I, oh, I read that out already. Um, <laughs> oh, I thought someone said it again. <laughs> yeah. She, oh, she, yeah, she's probably did. I just can't keep up. Uh, Wendy, hi, Wendy. She says, got to be a Wally Gherkin. We've just conferred. Oh. We've conferred, Wendy, and you can have two choices if you want. <laughs> um, two choices, Wendy. If you want to add another one, you can have mushy peas, if you're a bit weird, curry sauce, <laughs> or tartar sauce or ketchup. So Rosanna says, hi, everyone. Glad to be back. Missed you all. Been in Scotland on holiday and came back with COVID. Oh, gosh. Oh. She brought us lovely things back from your holiday, didn't you? Not. Um, but we are both on mend now. See you soon. Hope it wasn't too gruesome. Um, because I know for a lot of people that have been getting the COVID, it's been pretty rough actually. Um, so yeah, I know Nell was talking about it. Ian is going mushy peas. Oh, the dog's at dog's at the back now and he's barking at <laughs> children or foxes or something. Um, mushy peas, please, for Ian. You can have two choices, everyone. We've um, conferred. Oh, he's barking. Uh, Jeanette, why don't you ask, while I run and get that dog, why don't you confer <laughs> with Tom and ask him, apart from mushy peas, what he would like, and then vice versa. Yeah. So thank you. Okay, Tom, 
Yes. Um, what would be your favourite two things on fish and chips? Not salt and vinegar, they're already on them. Well, but it, he just said that mushy peas couldn't be included. No, he said they can be because they are for other people. So you can say that. So, so I'm having mushy peas. Mushy peas. And what would and be the tartar, tartar sauce. Oh, right. Okay. So sloppy stuff then, really. Sloppy, lumpy stuff. <laughs> Well, yeah, nice. If that's, if that's what, the way you want to put it, yeah. I quite like curry sauce, but not from a, a jar or a, a squeezy tube. I like it when you go there and they have a big vat of it that's probably been there a couple of weeks, and they just kind of do a big scoop into a tub of so, curry so you sauce. So do, you don't like sloppy, lumpy stuff either, then? No, but that's smooth. That's the thing. It's smooth. <laughs> Although, not if, after I two scampi, weeks. if I have scampi, it has to be tartar sauce. Nice shirt, Jono. Really lovely. Yeah. So, what's your other me. what's your other choice about? So, tar well, for fish and chips, mm, yeah. ketchup, I suppose, in in the absence of ketchup and brown curry sauce. sauce, one or the other. Yeah, yeah you could have two. fish. Oh, what together you, on the plate? No, that wasn't the idea. It was, yeah, it was you totally. can. You oh. can have two if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do tend to have mayonnaise. I must admit that wasn't. I'm one wondering of if I wonder if free would be legal, like you know. Well, I should write down what people are saying. Yeah, you should. Just telling us your that. views. I, I'll go with ketchup. Um, I do like, I have to have things quite wet. I've got a tender esophagus, you know, and it's really delicate. And so I need to have my food quite wet. And I would have that. Sometimes I would go with a gherkin, but um, so an onion. This time I'm going to go with a gherkin. I know someone who does like curry sauce and mussy peas with every. Bit oh. of fish and chips. And um, can uh, I just ask? I noticed yes. that um, yes, Ian you know, Thurgood, what, what is it? Ian Thurgood, Kim Saunders, and uh, Wendy <laughs> have only chosen one. And no, no, so listen, he, listen. It's not like that. Wendy's just come on and she says bread and butter. They're not even that, included. They're not, <laughs> come in, come in. Wendy, let's confer, yeah. let's confer. Should we allow bread and butter or not? No. Ian, <laughs> no. Ian, Ian's having two lots of mushy peas. Is he? <laughs> yeah. So that's two votes. <laughs> that's illegal for no. stars. You said two yeah. things. He's just having two. Yeah, but that's well, one no, thing. It's the same Twice. thing, Tom. That wasn't what we agreed that's on. Right. Against that's the committee. He, he said. You've got no authority lot. here, Tom Hardy. You've got no authority at all. <laughs> Another lot of mushy peas. That's two votes. Okay. <laughs> no. All right. No. Ian's one of them customers. Oh, two mushy peas for Ian. Yeah. Ben, <laughs> Ben's mushy peas. I'm mushy peas. Yeah. I, mm. I think mushy Keith peas are going to win. onions and gherkins. I understand where Keith lives. And I understand that he's from you. Mm. Mm, 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 not for me, though. Well. <clears throat> Wendy's now changed oh, to Wendy. a Wally and Tommy sauce, then. Okay. That's what I like it. Mark ketchup for Kim. Well, this is getting very complicated. <laughs> um, yeah, so Tom would go mushy peas twice as well, then, really. No, I would go mushy peas and tartar sauce. Ah, yeah, yeah, for sure. When you go to Mersey Island, I'm I'm not been since they've changed the management, but that oyster sort of bar yeah. used to do a lovely homemade tartar sauce with their lovely chips. Yeah, and they, is it not the same now? Then is it? No, it's a different, different lot. They're not quite as good as. Oh yeah, right. They're not quite yeah. as good as they were. Yeah, I would always just have the seafood platter. You know, all the prawns and salmon and. Bit no, you go to the company shed for the platter. Yeah, but they did them at the oyster bar as well. Yeah, and they they're too much good. They're yeah, not as good. Oh, they're, oh, they used to be good. Them. You could take it home. That was what we did. It was chilled. Put yeah. it in a, I would in I would put it into the um the box on the back of my motorbike and then ride to the other bit to the other end of shake the island. Shake it about a lot in your motorbike. <laughs> no, just in the top box and um go to the beach huts with the and the sand and sit on one of the decks of the beach hut. And eat it. That's lovely. So, if you similar to what you have done, if you order a takeaway, and uh, if you did for people out there, would you go just eat where they bring it in a nice bag, or would you go in the kind of like sweaty up delivery back of motorbike, shake it all around, all your takeaway, and then put it on sweaty inside silver foil, like it's on the front of your car that keep the sun out? 
I go just eat because the liver will shake it all over. Anyway, yeah, go that's just not... eat. I think because we get some kind of discount. The Lorraine set it up. Oh, uh, we well, get discounts. Yeah. Hello, Lorraine. Yeah. There's more coming. I'm overdue. I'm overdue a takeaway. Oh, oh Ben's boy. changed his mind. He's just going to have that's the it. ketchup. He's changed his mind, and that's all right, Ben. That's fine to do that. We're not okay. going to give you any pressure there. So people are going mad less about things, peas. so we're not going to give you any pressure. What was that, Jeanette? Sorry. One less for mushy peas. Quite rightly so. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, what do we do if there was a a, a draw? Who's going to be? Well, out then, then uh, we'd vote between us, us three. We are the adjudicators. I think Ian should. Or I just, I just <laughs> lie. Oh, John, say no, John, like. anyone but Ian. Anyone but Ian, because he's very biased and he's very much into mushy peas. And it wouldn't seem right if he had the call, Tom, just saying. Well, <laughs> I think it should be him. I mean, you know. Because he's the one he's, that, yeah, he's the one that needs to split his vote. Ben's saying, um, I'm a bit annoyed about this because he's not saying it to me or Tom. He's saying, Jeanette, I just want to say you look beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to really blush now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. That's really he's kind a of sweet you. sweet talker. Oh, <laughs> I do feel I'm quite hot now. <laughs> if, anybody, if anybody wants to say um, that me or Tom look really handsome, you're welcome <laughs> to do that. There's a there's a very red tomato sauce on one ketchup on one side. <laughs> and me. <laughs> oh well yeah, thank you, take, Tom. Uh, take them all off except that. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Normally we would uh, have a song um and a sing song before we would reveal the answer to the of the week, fish and chip side of the week. Um but we don't this time well, if I can find it. Before I get to the vote, before you get to count, I've got the script in front of me. I am doing it right. <laughs> yeah, Jenna, Jenna, stop. Stop, stop, Jenna. I am doing it right, aren't I? And now I'm questioning myself. <laughs> uh, stop. Stop, Jenna. You've got right. it wrong again, lad. Stop. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that this time. Can I just ask a question, though? No. If there were uh, equal scores for two of the uh, fish and chip sides, and mm. uh, the three of us had to choose between those two. Can we do that, or shall I just say which one I prefer, and then that'll be the winner? <laughs> what do you think? What would be fair? I don't really know, Jeanette. For example, Jono, if you had to choose between <laughs> you, do and you really Tom, care? <laughs> yeah, you know, care, the nation is waiting care. on this. And I take umbrage. You say that I don't care. I would go ketchup. So, okay. And uh, Tom, gherkin or ketchup? Uh, gherkin. Oh, oh just to make it complicated. <laughs> so, we now have, have a winner. You've got to have a wally, haven't you? There we go. Right. All right. Well, before Jeanette announces that, because votes could rush in, there could be a rush of people <laughs> coming out of the sun, okay. watching us talk on nonsense. That. Um, and voting if they do well we see you we see you on the other side um we're going to show you a video now i'm going to take us off the screen and there's just a little video you may have seen it online that we made just about what we've been up to a little bit it's about the work of the woman toasty club in recent time hello my name's john o'casson and i'm the producer and founder of the warm and toasty club a community organisation based in Colchester, Essex. For the past seven years, we've been running positive, upbeat events for older people, mostly called Memory Afternoons. We've also done quite a few public events at Colchester Arts Centre. Our work is all about cherishing older folk by making events that lift people's spirits. Through fun and upbeat nostalgia, we and our guests share memories and stories of our past. We have live performers sing for our audience and we laugh and be cheeky together as nothing beats being in good company in a positive, safe and welcoming environment. For a lighter addition for the ladies, a spray of Charlie. <laughs> There's a fragrance and it's here to stay and they call it... Charlie! Kind of new, kind of wow, Charlie? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> 
We're proud to be told by the people who use our services that we're a real tonic and that we're a happiness exchange. As we all know, in early 2020, the pandemic arrived and it meant for us totally repurposing our services. We started a telephone befriending service and we produced colourful newsletters with quizzes, interviews, memories and jokes. Oh yeah, and those online memory afternoons. What is it? Cake! I will eat it. What is it? Cake! I will love it. Cake of the week. Can we tell the viewers this is the first time I've ever done an acoustic performance in my life? Dirty old river, must you keep rolling? Rolling into the night. We've had over 37,000 views of our online memory afternoons and the live shows feature live guests singing and chatting, poetry and fun features like Cake of the Week or Haircut of the Week. The list goes on. <laughs> Anybody, if you don't want to win this, you might not want to answer the question. What, what course would that be at dinner? Is That's that a starter? Is it a pudding? <laughs> that covers all, all the bases. That's a starter, your main, and your dessert right there. If you think about you know, it. Sometimes when you go around to people's houses, if they've got a barbecue or it's, just, it's a bit of a safari supper, I think they call it, and, and you take a dish to somebody's take house. Dish. Yes, Can yes. Imagine that. Imagine, <laughs> imagine someone brought that to your party tonight. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Real life is and all is cracked up to be. And I'm here. Three questions I'll throw at you. You get on the chat, you get answering them. If you get them right, you win a prize. Virtually. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just um, it's just for fun. You just put them under the toaster. No, not under the toaster. <laughs> <laughs> under the grill. Mum, yeah, <laughs> why are you so warming up now? They're very cold. But... Yeah. A big thanks to the National Lottery Community Fund and National Lottery Players for our recent grant. It's thanks to National Lottery Players that we're able to do the work we do in our communities. It means the world to us, but most importantly, it means the world to the people we work with. Older folk in the community with work that genuinely helps improve loneliness, isolation and provide a real sense of being happy and uplifted. You know, who doesn't like being cherished? And that's what we do. We're the Warm and Toasted Club. Thanks to you, we go forward. Cheers. Oh, lovely. I just find Tom and Jeanette. Where they gone to? There they are. I liked watching it. <laughs> Me too. And, and Carol, that was nice. she's quite that, and she's my dancing buddy. Um, yes. It was her birthday yesterday. So oh, I didn't know that. Later. Happy birthday, Carol. Happy birthday, Carol. Sorry, I didn't realise it was your birthday. <laughs> Slack folk have been... A... <laughs> Might be something to do with Tom, a voting mushy peas. <laughs> he's, he's gone. What's the login for Slack folk? No. That's really out of order, Tom. I'm really, really disgusted. Well, in Slack folk. Uh, even with that late entry, it doesn't win. I do have a winner. <laughs> but that video was super, and that's a really uh, good example of uh, the live in person events that, that we've done and, and the big art center uh, events. That was lovely. That was really nice to watch. And, yeah. and all those familiar faces. I miss them. It was a joy to make and it was joy joy to, to watch it, actually, because it, it was a time to just be able to reflect and uh, think, oh, I love what I do. I love what we do. So there we mm. go. We've been doing it a lot of years now. We've been doing it a lot of years. That's right. <laughs> okay. Hit us with it. Fish and chips side of the week <clears throat> goes to... to... Dun, dun, dun. Ketchup. Ketchup. Ketchup yeah. is the winner. Oh, I thought Gherkin was going to sneak it, which I wouldn't have minded. It it's didn't because peas, I voted yeah. ketchup. Yes. As long as it's not mushy peas. Ah, it's not. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. It was never going to be mushy peas. Uh, <laughs> Will Chandler sell, sends a smile. He was in that video just now. He's a lovely man. His name's Will Chandler. He's a lovely man every day of the week. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we like him. I miss him. Yeah, we miss you. Send any love to you, Will. Um, Hope you're feeling well. 
Yeah, all right. I'll do a couple of kisses. Do you want to do any kisses, Tom? <laughs> for Will? I don't, yeah, do kiss, yeah. I don't do the kisses, do I? Tom, I don't want to take it to the committee that you've not done kisses on the show, but it's really a point of order. You have no authority here, Tom Hardy. Um, sorry. <laughs> we have now got time for time for you out there. That's what we got time for. Hi, great to see you. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. <laughs> Will says he misses you all too. We miss you, Will. Great to hear back from you. It's time for Poem of the Week. It's Poem of the Week. It's sometimes short and sweet. It's Poem of the Week. And it's always magnificent. Wow, this, uh, this is feeling a lot more like the Jeanette show this week. Me singing, me doing a jingle, me reading a poem, uh, which is, thank you very much. I appreciate any uh, applause. Thank you. Uh, so this week's poem, um, this is uh, going back to me uh, writing a song earlier because I didn't used to think I could. And this poem is by Edgar Albert Guest and it's called It Couldn't Be Done. Somebody said that it couldn't be done, but he with a chuckle replied that maybe it couldn't but he would be one who wouldn't say so till he'd tried. So he buckled right in with the trace of a grin on his face. If he worried, he hid it. He started to sing as he tackled the thing that couldn't be done, and he did it. Somebody scoffed, oh, you'll never do that. At least no one ever has done it. But he took off his coat and he took off his hat, and the first thing we knew, he'd begun it. With a lift of his chin and a bit of a grin, without any doubting or credit, he started to sing as he tackled the thing that couldn't be done, and he did it. There are thousands to tell you it cannot be done. There are thousands to prophecy failure. There are thousands to point out to you one by one the dangers that wait to assail you. But just buckle in with a bit of a grin. Just take off your coat and go to it. Just start in to sing as you tackle the thing that cannot be done, and you'll do it. That was It Couldn't Be Done by Edgar Albert Guest. And if I can do anything, so can anybody else. <laughs> that was lovely. You know what your reading of that took me back to sort of like Jack and Ori days. Oh, did <laughs> Yeah, like in a really nice way. It was just really, oh. um, yeah, it's just, oh, sorry, thanks coming through. Just, i just got to take this. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm doing a show. Okay, I'll let her know. I'll let her know. Thank you. <laughs> Right. Jeanette, um, unfortunately, it's the committee. The committee have said, Jeanette, you've been on the show doing too much. I know, it's the Jeanette show this week. <laughs> it's really ridiculous, they said, and you're going to have to miss a show next time to make up for things. You're trying to do too much. <laughs> trying to take over, they said. In that three-second telephone conversation, they said all of those things. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was lovely, Jeanette. I really enjoyed that. And you seem to have found your Jack and Ori voice, and that's the best voice <laughs> that I can read a poem in. Oh, oh, I've got well, I was interviewed you. yesterday for um for a piece that Martin Newell's doing for the East Anglian Daily Times, and he was kind of interviewing me and, and another lady, and um and we were both able to just kind of answer all his questions and just be really animated. <laughs> It was really funny. And then, of course, he, he wanted some photographs of us. And we said, <laughs> what is that? Is this... Oh, some more of That's me. Jo no, that was Jono when he was younger. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's, um, looks a bit like Pam Ayres. Is that is vinyl? It is Pam Ayres. Oh, I love her. Yes. Sorry, sorry, I digress. I just had them sitting next to me. <laughs> I just thought they were so 70s, I just, and they were 50 pence each. I thought I had to buy it. Oh, Who wouldn't want to buy I love that? that. Yeah, and that I was like, me. I'd, that was I'd my hair. A pound on that. <laughs> You'd pay, I'd pay at least 70p. For that. Yeah, <laughs> no pound. I would go that mad. Sorry, I interrupted you. You were talking, Jeanette. What was you saying? I can't remember. Just saying that I was uh, doing kind of voicey things yesterday. So, um, Maybe I was just rehearsed, and so therefore oh, I had my Jack Norrie voice. I don't oh, know. Oh, I see. You and Martin Noor would be in all theatrical, wouldn't you? It was a bit, yeah. So he was a bit. A lady called Dainey Brooke, who's uh, quite a famous lady, and um, I was being interviewed with her, which is really nice. And the 
similarities in our earlier life. Where will we hear this in the future, please? It will be in uh, the East Anglian Daily Times, I think, in a couple of weeks. Uh, a feature well, that your voice is on. With your actual... no, no, but he was recording it so that he could go away and write it. So, oh, so. I look forward to that. I was very conscious that when I am being recorded in interviews, something that I was taught years ago is try not to um. Hmm. Hmm. I agree. I agree. Uh, mm. <laughs> Kim says, "Great poem, Jeanette. One oh. kiss. That's all you need. That's simple. Bang." <laughs> but really, consider what the committee have said, Jeanette. Um, don't try and take Listen, I didn't put this show together. Just let's just say that no, I was no. invited you, to do a song, and you subconsciously it. put it in Jono's mind that you wanted to have most of the show, and he did it for you because he that's, liked you. That's not how the emails look, Jono. I mean, <laughs> oh, you too. That's Get right. I'll be reporting that to the committee. Get off, the case. Well. Get off the show. Thank yeah. you for your feedback. You do have authority here, Tom Hardy. Um, well, those, we're those having four, a laugh. Yeah, those 400 yeah. emails about can I do a song? And, and Wasn't Chloe. it great? It was grating after a while, wasn't it, Tom? It was really great. Oh, I've got um, a gig tonight. I've got a load of songs to do <laughs> to later. <laughs> They're all in my head, all in a month. Just read them that Jack and Ori story <laughs> and you'll be happy, dear. <laughs> Get the rest of the band doing ooh ahs, do what at the back. <laughs> um, that was great. I really that actually was one of my favourite poems of yours. That's the truth. That's the truth. Keep it's that lovely, voice. Isn't it? I really like that whole thing of people that think you can't do something. My natural point is that I assume I can do everything, everything. until I try it and can't do it. But, I know yeah, the committee have said about that as well, which is an issue. But I thought we are going to talk about that after the show, Jeanette. Oh, blooming committee. Oh, I want to kill you, Jano. I want a blooming... <laughs> well, um, I jest. She's wonderful. I'm so pleased to have been with Jeanette. And it's nice when Tom's back, because at least I can play around a little bit with Jeanette. Not li no, no. Anyway. Moving on. on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bit hot, a bit hot. That's our, that's our show. We're finito, finito. We're finished. I might not bother coming again. I'll just oh, yeah. no. <laughs> no, come every week, every fortnight. We're back in two weeks' time. I just looked at what two weeks' time means, and I can't find it. Now. No, no, that one. I nearly pressed the double, <laughs> the double eviction, um, the double screen where we. You would have had four of me. Just because oh, Jeanette's see. taking up too much. It's the 19th, Friday the 19th of August. And our guest is Bowie Bartlett. Oh, she's um, great. First appearance online, but she's performed at our shows and our, our uh, in-person afternoons in the past. She's rather wonderful and hopefully all be good to join us for you lot. Tell your friends, tell everybody to come along. Two weeks time, August the 19th, one o'clock. We'll be back. Until then, thanks so much to Jeanette Lyons for her um, uh, uh, great presenting skills and hosting skills, but also she goes along with her jokes so well. And for Tom for joining me in those jokes. <laughs> oh, I've missed you, mate. Um, thank you both for your wonderfulness. Thanks for letting me on the show, Jeanette. <laughs> <laughs> And thanks to you lot out there. Gosh, we wouldn't be nothing without you. Stay well, stay happy, and we will see you in two weeks' time. Thanks to the lottery. Keep playing that lottery. It pays people like us to do the silly things that we do because people play the lottery. Thanks. Have a great couple of weeks, and we will see you. Got to get the outro music. We will see you on the 19th of August with Bowie Bartlett and that lady, Jeanette Lyons, and that man, Tom Hardy. Bye, Fun everyone. Bye. Bye. We've all got a tale to tell Times were not always so But putting it all aside We made it through by and by It's warm and toasty in here Share our laughter, sometimes tears You'll be welcome with a cup of tea And a biscuit, maybe two or three Wrapped in a little white cloth
Cooking for hours in the old iron pot There's a jam roly-poly for tea Enough for you and dad and grandma and me What did we like the most? Fish paste sandwich Or peas on toast Nothing could come close To bubble and squeak The day after our sun 